Dustin with TechMD. Today we're going to be fixing the Xbox One X. Um, now this is... Okay, so we're going to be using this machine here, but it's basically a general heat gun machine. And we're going to set the temperature to 390 and uh, the airflow to 50. And more of a smaller nozzle. Put some uh, flux around this. And one thing I didn't check was positioning. So the T is pointed down. So what I do is something along those lines. Oh, you can't even see it. I just put T like that. Then I know the position. Then I know the position of the chip. <laughs> it's my way of cheating. So we're just going to wait for that, uh, the solder to start becoming shiny. I'm just going to use my right hand for a minute. Because I'm more right handed. A few moments later. That looks like it's becoming shiny. Mm -hmm. A few moments later. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna come loose. Okay, there we go. Now we got the chip finally removed. So it looks like. Uh, so this is a little bit alternative because I don't have my soldering iron next to me, but we're gonna clean up the, the excess solder with some wick. You can do this with normally a soldering iron, uh, but. Well, this is the studio I got right now. Get close. Uh, what we're doing here is soaking the solder paste over the original pads to help make it easier to clean up. Okay, now I need you. If you want, I can bring the iron solder. If we have to. Yeah? No, I said if we have to. Let's go. Oh. I think we can do it this way. Make it all shiny. Make sure you angle it so it stays in the camera. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna move the board away. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and take some solder paste. And put some on there. <laughs> Harder than it looks. Is there is very with the iron soldering. All right, we gotta clean this up with an iron and I don't wanna bring it way over here. Okay, so we're gonna put the new chip on, but we gotta figure out which direction does it go. It's so dirty I can't even tell because it has too much flux on it. So now I know which orientation. 
we're gonna move this down here a little bit more in the center. And then we're gonna fix a resistor that bumped. Make a little flex. All right. And then we're going to put our chip on. Just throw it on apparently. Nice. I am literally just eyeballing this from like two feet, guys. And I'm just checking what you guys get to see on my TV. It's lined up? Yeah, there's a point. What's the point for? The point, the guide point. To guidance point to what? Uh, you remember where this point goes? Oh, there's a guidance point in the corner. He's talking about this guidance point right here, guys. I guess it's supposed to be this way. I, I just marked the T. I'm going to try to keep the heat gun out of the camera for you guys. A few moments later. A few minutes later. Okay. Now that we got it soldered on, uh, we just double checked on our microscope, made sure everything's good, but I'll just show you guys a real quick close up. Fix the resistor that I bumped. And to be honest, it's better to do things under a microscope. Then we're gonna go ahead and clean off this. I already did this off camera. Clean that and use an air can to clean that. We do got to replace the thermal paste. A little bit of alcohol, 99% isopropyl alcohol. Get you a nice clean, clean surface there. Clearly, you don't need very much on here because they made a huge mess, Microsoft. Put on our heat sink carefully and our X clamps. You definitely want to do it side by side first and set up across from each other, just like taking it off. Be just simpler to do this at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much do it at the same time, pushing it down. Push this inward. There we go. We'll press down and try to get that in. <clears throat> This is the hard one to get on. God, I used to have a good strategy for this. It's been years. There we go. I put a little bit of pressure underneath, push down. I would actually recommend this side first. That way you don't have to put so much pressure on this side, but I was just pushing from underneath but then you can put a lot of pressure here because you have the block. So maybe on this side where the first go on be better. Yeah. I don't do these very often. So that's why uh, I'm taking my time and not remembering every single detail on how things are done.
All right, that's screwed in. Ow. Go ahead and plug our fan back in here. Get lined up right. It's not wanting to go in initially because this piece here has to go underneath. But we might actually have to slide this under. There we go. Just requires a little tweaking. It can be done. Alright, let's get our fan in. Hard drive in, plugged back in, pretty simple. There's this little hard drive piece here. Clips over the top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. This drive. Plugging that back in. So before I put the top on, I want to put the, the connectors on the side because I want to test. After we get that all plugged in, we'll go ahead and turn on the unit. And then we're going to check for video and make sure the video is working. We're on the right HDMI. All right. Video is functioning. I will try to change the side camera over because I don't want to do anything else as you can see <laughs> so fortunately today it was just the retimer chip but like i said it could be hard drive or other shorted out components this is very common just to be that timer uh timer chip 